any problem can be solved more easily if the problem is divided into small problems if it is divided into small problems so that these small problems they can be solved or optimized easily or they are solved or optimized independently so coming to concern here what is meant by concern so concern is nothing but it's a feature or behavior that is specified as a part of the requirement model of the software so what is concern it is a feature or behavior that is specified as a part of requirements model requirement model for a software and here we are separating the concern into smaller and manageable pieces so by separating this concern by separating this concern into smaller and manageable pieces problem can be solved or the problem takes less effort and time to less effort and time to solve so that means say suppose this is a concern so if this concern by separating this concern into smaller and manageable pieces so these are the smaller pieces which are generated from this so in that case it takes less amount of time as well as effort to solve these problems say suppose assume that we have two problems p1 and p2 so we need to find out perceived complexity assume that we have p1 p2 so say suppose the perceived complexity perceived complexity of p1 is greater than perceived complexity of p2 then obviously as this is having more complexity by that we it is clear that it takes more and more effort or so this p1 requires more effort or it takes more effort to more effort and time to solve this p1 compared to p2 okay so so it takes more amount of time in order to solve this complete problem but also it is clear that the perceived complexity let us take it as pc the perceived complexity of complete problem that means the problem where uh, this p1 and p2 are combined together that problem is greater than sum of the perceived complexities of p1 and p2 so what it means see say suppose we have one big problem okay so instead of for dividing this big problem into multiple problems p1 p2 p3 and so on pn if if you combine this p1 and p2 then you will get this p right p1 and p2 so without division if you solve this problem then this perceived complexity of this complete problem will be very high and if you take the complexities individually that means say suppose i divided this problem into p1 and p2 and i got some complexity for p1 and i got another complexity for p2 then if i take some of this complexity c1 plus complexity c2 then that complexity of course even though the amount the perceived complexity of p1 is greater than p2 but if you combine these two p1 plus p2 then this complexity is less compared to the complexity which we got before 
dividing the problem into T1 and T2. So this leads to divide and conquer strategy. So that's the reason why we are dividing the problem into multiple sub-problems. Instead of solving that problem separately or instead of solving the complete problem. So this is about separation of concerns.